Hi guys, sorry to miss you today. We're going to do a drawing with crayons and pencil. In the style of an artist I really like, his name is David Hockney and he does paintings of swimming pools. This is his most famous one, A Bigger Splash. He is from England, but he goes to, comes back and forth to California because he loves our hot weather. So we are going to do a drawing of a pool and add some shading in blue. We're going to make some value, some light and darks of a color. You can have light and dark of any color. We're going to do it of blue with our water. Okay, so we're going to start by drawing three lines across the middle of your paper. All right, this is the line for where your pool is. Your pool is all here. This is a line for there's usually like some tile or cement inside the pool. And this is called your ground line. Everything you draw is going to be on top of your ground line. So we're going to start by designing a house however you wish. In that painting I told you about a, a bigger splash, there is a house by the pool. So pools are usually in the backyard, so I'm going to make a back door, that's up to you. It could be a big house, little house, that is up to you. But there should definitely be some kind of plants. Make sure you add some plants or a tree. If you want to draw the sun or birds in the sky. In California, we always see some mountains in the background. Some birds in the sky. You can do like a letter V. You can add some flowers if you want. Can you ask the person next to you, what did you draw on your ground line? And describe to them what you drew on your ground line. So I drew a house, mountains, a cactus, a tree, a flower, and birds. Go ahead. Okay. When it comes to coloring with your color blue, I want to see you do some darker lines, wavy lines, all over your pool where you're going back and forth, back and forth, pressing hard. I'm sorry if your crayon breaks, but it'll be worth it. Wavy lines all over. Okay, then when you have lots and lots of wavy lines that you pressed really hard with, then you can press lightly and color on top. And it'll look like how the water looks in the pool when the sun's hitting. Okay, and if the water is blue, that means the sky is blue. I would like to see you try to press a little harder at the top than you do towards the bottom. I'm going to see you try that. So the top of your paper, color really hard all along the top. Really hard so it's really bright blue and then color lighter. Hardly press. And color later. Okay. And then you can color the rest of your picture. Make it your goal to color carefully. I do that by coloring on the lines first and then coloring inside and try to get all of your white spots. Use your imagination and try to color nice and carefully and go for some dark blue and some very light blue. Good job.